It's crazy time. Absolutely. That's for sure. Yeah. And the market's crazy right now. So crazy. Sadly. Sadly it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got your camera on? Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> sort it now. I'll just I put my light on as well in here. Oh, I like your microphone. It looks so snazzy. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I've been well prepared for the <laughs> image. <laughs> That's the one. I need to get one like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, join Citus Heroes then. <laughs> my free mentor for you. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, the mar- yeah, market's been crazy. But yeah, it's been an interesting time now. So yeah. Well, it's absolutely. Cool. All those news with Elon Musk, with the moon, it's just, yeah, <laughs> overwhelming. It, say. It's crazy. Like, it's just like, it's, there's so much going on right now. So, I mean, it's an interesting time. Absolutely. The- well, let's let's hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Hundred <laughs> percent. That's that's all, that's what you got to do, right? You just got to be ready for anything, really. And um, it's good that we can do this catch up, so you can tell everyone what's going on with Cider Series, and there's loads of new things going on. I saw on your Twitter. Absolutely. Episode. Really excited. Really excited. A lot of updates there, and yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty sure you'll be excited as well once you hear them out. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm excited for the updates. Um, what we could do is. We can, yeah, we, we can just kick off and we'll share the recording later on in um, the GS community. So, yeah, we might as well kick off. Okay, just give me a sec. I'll just grab the camera in here as well. Great, great, great. All right, wonderful. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, yeah. So for those who yet didn't know, my name is uh, Anthony Checo. And uh, my role in City Series is obviously a Chief of External Affairs for those who yet didn't know. So I'm pretty much building up a network of project supporters uh, and finding ways for us to collaborate and bring, obviously, more value to our community and to the blockchain gamers in general. Uh, once again, for those who yet didn't know, I'll tell you more about the Citus Heroes just in brief, I'd say. So Citus Heroes, as I usually say, <laughs> is a web jail, AAA level uh, play-to-earn NFT and MMORPG game. So we are right now building a high quality gaming metaverse uh, that offers a breathtaking scenarios and multiple earning opportunities while providing an easy access from a browser. So yeah, that is one of those games that you just play in the browser, but the graphics is just fantastic. I'm pretty sure you'll, you'd love to see that once you try it yeah. out. So in the game, uh, each character belongs to one of the three main races. First one is Raptorian, second one uh, is Ogia, and third one is Voltron. So each race has um, its own unique characteristics and skins. The game also provides uh, users with uh, multiple gaming scenarios, so, which is an interstellar exploration, battles, uh, settlements, and of course, political, social, and economic development. So the Citus Heroes Metaverse uh, basically goes beyond just being a blockchain game. It also unites uh, the game with an official in-game marketplace so two NFT collections, one of which is Academy, and the second one is Genesis. So token staking is also included, as well as many more interesting and individual options. Uh, I'd say our main goal is to create a complex metaverse that will actually allow people with a variety of interests uh, mm-hmm. to interact with each other and profit with their interactions as well. So we're not only creating a game, but we're actually building an economic ecosystem that will just include various and unique ways that you don't usually see in nowadays blockchain games or even just the usual games as well oh, wow that was a that was an amazing breakdown thank you so much <laughs> for that. that was good i feel like anyone that could have missed the last ama i think you did a really really great rundown and um i was gonna i was gonna talk to you there's a lot a lot of updates i'm seeing so i was gonna say if you can take people through what, I, what a lot of people are asking they're asking about the new hero modules I've come about yeah. in a different way of people making passive income, um, the requirements to participate and what they need to hold and what they need to invest to take part in. So potential investing in earnings and stuff like that. Absolutely. Would love to share those updates with you. So uh, we have just recently moved, first things first, onto the new graphics engine uh, uh, that is called Play Canvas. We have uh, drastically improved the graphics and taken into a whole new level, I'd say. I'm pretty sure once you see that, you'll be shocked. <laughs> As for our plans for the rest of uh, 2022, we'll be actually um, gradually expanding the gaming metaverse by introducing uh, new scenarios and features. So players will get more and more 
uh, gaming and earning opportunities. And of course, we plan to listen to our community as we usually do uh, to meet their needs and fix any of the problems they have and we counter as we continue to work on the project. Uh, so moving on to the next point is this year, we'll actually be introducing more new modules. So right now, uh, the investment stage that we have for the space shuttle shipyard, the reproduction facility and the marketplace is open. So modules are actually a key feature in the Cetus Heroes, uh, as well as being a part of the, um, I'd say, in-game economy. The idea is really simple. For those who yet don't understand or don't play Cetus Heroes, I'll quickly explain you in brief. So all the items you see in the game will actually go through these modules. And users who actually invest in module construction in the early stages will be eligible for royalties. So the sooner you actually get into the game, the more profit you will get in the future, which is which means that right now is actually uh, the best time to go in. Yeah, uh, for uh, example. For, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, for example, um, if you invest uh, your resources uh, or time in construction a shipyard module, uh, which is where all space shuttles are actually going to, well, will be built, you'll actually receive a share of the fee from every player that uses a shipyard to build their ship. So, which means every time a new ship will be built, you are the one that is going to be getting royalties, which means commission, obviously. So, uh, this in-game uh, enterprise, let's say, allows users uh, to generate passive income. So, they don't even need to play the game to receive profits, which is really good, since I'm pretty sure in previous AMA session, we talked with you about uh, two um, different type of players, one of which is actual investors, and now the one is just players. This is where the modules actually come really handy. So, this is quite an, uh, I'd say, innovative uh, thing for gaming. Right now, we are finishing building the first module, which is called the store. So it's already been closed uh, in terms of the uh, investment. So we are now finalizing everything. And those who have invested into the store will actually be getting royalties from the store as well. Uh, the other important aspect I'd like to outline is actually scholarships. I'm pretty sure everyone's waiting for the scholarship, all the guilds. Everyone wants to rent out their heroes. Everyone wants to start playing, you know, not for just the usual interest fee, but for quite lower. So the scholarships will also soon be available through the in-game module. It will act uh, as a kind of uh, mediator between owners and borrowers of the heroes. So we'll be providing a convenient, I'd say, interface where you can choose players for scholarships uh, and ensure compliance with all of the requirements that you set up. For example, um, I'll just give you a brief example. So let's say the scholars won't be able to sell the items but sublet them or avoid uh, paying royalties, I'd say. So that's just one of one of the um, options that you have there. So all of the following activities uh, just mentioned above, uh, I'd say will encourage users to interact with each other. And later on, uh, we're actually planning on a massive marketing campaign and opening the game up to the public. So I'd suggest you to stay tuned, <laughs> subscribe to all of our channels in the first place, and a lot of I'd say a lot of, there's just a giant, enormous pack of stuff is actually coming up soon. Oh, wow. That sounds exciting. And I think it's definitely a game changer, the fact that you don't need to play the game to earn. So I, I like that you have um, thin a support about all different ways people can make passive income. And like you said, now's the best time to invest because the earlier you get in, the more rewards that you can make. So I'm not the, yeah, I'm not the <laughs> financial advisor. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not advising you to invest, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. To play, but to play and you could also invest into the modules, which will then <laughs> get, give you a greater return, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just Very being much. really careful with my words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that in this game, but not financial advisors. So yeah, mm. uh, with all the updates that you said, it's really, really exciting time for um, all the different ways that people can make passive income with Sidis Heroes. And I was um, checking earlier and I saw, I saw that Sinate and Sidis has been listed in a lot more places now. So they're, they're available in a lot more places. They've got a lot of recent listings. Well, well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we did, we did do so. Uh, there were some quite of the exchanges that we've been listed on. You could easily check in coin market cap or just Google and see this really put in Cedus and you'll see the, the markets that, that it's listed on. So, uh, yeah, at, at this stage, we have it on Bybit, uh, GetIO, Uniswap, uh, Bitfinex, uh, uh, Ascent, Bitmart, who, Digifinex, as well as the Bitfinex, which was one of the, uh, I'd say, uh, important aspects. Uh, uh, it was actually one time by, uh, was it 30%? 30%? 30%? Oh, wow. 
Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's great that it's available in so many different places now. So, I mean, it's easy access for people to really hold um, CIDIS in their portfolio, which is great. Absolutely. Um, All three ESFL users. <laughs> exactly. Um, I was looking, um, so your roadmap, do you feel like it's changed quite a lot? Because with all the recent updates, where are you in terms of your roadmap? So uh, at this stage, uh, we are actually planning on uh, quietly changing our roadmap. So uh, I'd say that uh, we have just recently moved uh, on to the new graphics engine, as I previously say, uh, called Play Canvas. So we have actually, uh, I'd say, drastically improved the graphics and taking it to the whole new level, as I previously said. Uh, I'd say, I'd say, as for the um, this year, we'll be actually, uh, as I previously said, just introducing new modules, and all the space, as I previously said, the space shuttle modules, the store modules, and many, many other interesting options. So, as for the roadmap, uh, I'd say that's it. Yeah, well, I, I covered everything <laughs> from from my perspective. Yeah, you you kind of you kind of done a breakdown really early, so that was great. Mm. So. So with the roadmap, with things that are happening, I guess it will change with time anyway. So like you said, silently working on the roadmap. So we'll everyone can stay tuned. And of course, we'll drop your social so people can stay tuned. And Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, just a quick reminder that, sorry, maybe that's too loud. I'll just put it in here. No, it's so, fine. Um, <laughs> okay. So uh, as I previously uh, also said on the previous AMA sessions, uh, we actually have two tokens. Uh, one of them is Citus, another one is Cinate, And Cinate is actually a DAO token. So people will be able to actually vote and if they do decide to change the roadmap significantly, significantly, and uh, if, in, in case they actually want to do so, we, we actually will be able to change it since, uh, you know, it's really easy to do so since we did make a roadmap, uh, including the factory that it might be changed. So that should not be a problem in case the community decides to go ahead and just change a few aspects or maybe change it globally or they want to change the focus. They want to move it from a MMORPG into the first person shooter. <laughs> that's also possible. <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah, that's one of the options. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You, you, to be fair, you always have to have that contingency in mind that things do change and roadmaps change. Sometimes things get done sooner than expected. Sometimes they don't. And sometimes things are... Um, you t other things take priority that you don't necessarily know are going to take priority so i'm sure everyone can appreciate that and really i really appreciate you taking us through all the updates so far what i was going to ask is a lot of people ask about the reward system on your discord so on your, on your discord you've got like a ranking system or ways that people can take part and they get moved up the rank and stuff mm -hmm. so how, how does that work with rewards so with the so rewards with the it also works in the same way so uh previously uh, not just through the Discord system, but also we actually uh, distributed around fifty thousand dollars between the players that actually helped us uh, to improve our glitches and as well as the bugs. So once the persons have submitted us the report, he got into the rank and also he got distribution of some of the funds between those fifty thousand dollars that we distributed. So that is actually really good. It gets people involved in terms of any of the sharings or any of the rankings. So it does help them, you know, you know to get more involved into the game just by usual the social media which is one of the great tools definitely definitely and i think that's a great way is is it's very incentivized and it's a great way of getting engagement mm -hmm. in the right people and seeing who's really really focused and moving up the ranks and stuff like that and everyone likes a bit of competition so they say so i mean it's it's nice to get absolutely, people involved in different ways so that's great um a lot of people are wondering what kind of is there any other partnerships that we can look that any sort of exclusive partnerships are coming in the pipeline um great, and how great. are these partnerships going to help with future developments for Sidus? Sidus? <laughs> Well, well, first things first, uh, at, at this stage, we have Anywalker Brands, uh, which is the lead investor in Citus Curious, uh latest round. So it's a global, it is a global leader, I'd say, in a gamification and blockchain. Sorry, I just will put my picture on just so I see myself. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, it has a large portfolio of over 150 investments in NFT-related companies uh, and a decentralized projects as well that all contribute to building an open metaverse. So Citus Heroes' strong partnership with the Polygon, which is uh, also called Medic uh, Network, was also um, accompanied by the first grant for the company. So its purpose is actually being to, I'd say, enable Citus to investigate and implement gaming solutions on their blockchain. So the grant is being used uh, for the research and implementation of gaming, uh, I'd say, and profit-making solutions on the Polygon network. 
Uh, as on the other hand, we're actually uh, continuing to expand our network of business partners and supporters and have recently partners with uh, Patricia Blockchain, which is a Web 3.0 public uh, zero knowledge blockchain. Both our companies are actually uh, taking their first steps with the launch of uh, their, I'd say, um, respective better uh, versions and will actually use the experience as an opportunity to test out the different uh, forms of the collaboration. I'd say this partnership uh, allows our team to actually explore the many possibilities that uh, Patricia blockchain is able to offer the NFT gaming sphere. So I'd say, yeah, oh, all, all, always, always, we're always also focused on actually uh, moving on uh, towards the new partnerships that we have there. So we're always open to any of the new partnerships that's also available. I'm the one who is actually, you know, <laughs> responsible <laughs> for, all those, for those moments. moments. Oh, cool. yeah, that's uh, a yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so uh, absolutely. Always uh, also a very important thing to mention that, uh, we haven't yet announced, but it will be exclusive for your channel. <laughs> we actually are now are working, working on the ambassador program. So we'll be actually selecting a few ambassadors once we, once we finalize to the, our program as well as the, or, you know, all, any of the requirements that we have there, as well as the payouts and uh, any of the conditions. Uh, we'll be actually launching the ambassador program that uh, maybe some of your community uh, members will be interested in getting into. Nice. So, yeah. Okay, guys, you heard it here first. That's really exciting because I know a lot of people always ask that you can do an ambassador program. So it's so good that you've kind of just highlighted that you're working on that now. So that's exciting, hmm. exciting. Hmm. Thank you so much for the updates. What I was going to talk about also, I know people can stay in touch with your socials, but I know that Sidus has now got installed the whole new Sidus Times magazine. Um, so hmm. uh, hmm. what is that going to cover? Is there any sort of exclusives in a magazine or what can people expect? Well, well, <sighs> Uh, talking about the Citus Magazine, um, the Citus Magazine was actually initially created to uh, inform readers, obviously, as any magazine would, about the most interesting updates to the game. But I'd say that's not all. Um, a large number uh, of our players actually understand the gaming industry even better than we do, as it usually you know, comes in any of the communities. So we wanted a means uh, by which we could uh, develop our community together and provide regular information about the industry, metaverse news, uh, some of the global statistics, maybe some uh, technical innovations uh, and solutions, of course. Uh, so the first issue of the magazine uh, included topics about all the latest updates that the series series has, as well as the interviews with the team members, a global gamify market review, and much more. Uh, I'd say we'll also post the link further on so you people can actually have a, have a read have a through read the magazine. The magazine. Yes, please. Yeah, that'd be great. Definitely drop the link because um, it's really, really exciting that you guys have a magazine and not everyone knows that you guys have a magazine. So it'll be cool for people to have a look at the magazine as well as follow, follow you guys on social so they can see any sort of exclusives and they keep really, really up to date. So yeah, please drop the link to the magazine. That would be it, great. Just it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the Twitter questions so um, we've had quite a few questions on Twitter. So we've only selected a few. Um, we've selected a few questions on Twitter. Are you ready for us to jump along with the Twitter questions? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go. On. Perfect. So um, from Bam, Bam Bang, sorry, I hope I said the name right. Sorry about that. Um, I see on your website that there are ranks involved. Can you please discuss us the structure of the me mechanisms of the ranks? What are the difference between each rank and what is the advantage of each rank? Okay, so starting with the ranking system, it is not yet implemented into the gameplay. However, it is currently adjusted. So these ranks uh, will be actually, uh, I'd say, will be of importance uh, upon the introducing gaming seasons, uh, as well as the leaderboards. So when user will, which means that uh, when users will be uh, awarded prizes according to the results of their gaming performance. That's just the short answer for you. I can hear you. Nice. So people will be rewarded for their performance. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. And the next question is from Lucky Pove. And he said, almost 80% of investors have focused on price of tokens short term instead of understanding the real value of the project. Are you planning on extending the use case utilities of the tokens? Well, I'd say that having a dual token economy always gives us the opportunity to share the benefits of the tokens, thereby maintaining their market value. So for sure, we will be introducing um, 
new use cases for them. Uh, all in-game transactions will also be, uh, I'd say, carried out uh, in the native tokens. As for now, uh, I'll just give you a brief example. You can invest Cirrus into the construction of the module. So this is a new use case, and actually the total Cirrus investment capacity for the first module was, I'd say, reached in a matter of days. So it didn't take long. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's just the users did get really excited okay. that the new case was, well, use case has been implemented, that they got so excited that they went, just went in and just threw their Cirrus tokens uh, into their accounts and started investing. Of course, we did have a limit uh, for different uh, types of heroes in there. And we did not let, you know, the, the big players, or as you call them, whales, to invest as much as they could, since we want everyone to get a piece of this really sweet really pie. Smart. Yeah. So in order to actually maintain, I'd say, a high volume of um, economic exchanges between players, we actually offer uh, different interaction scenarios in addition uh, to gaming transactions. So the Cirrus ecosystem uh, will actually provide a marketplace for trading in-game items and heroes, which means that will be just an in-game mar marketplace, which also means that you obviously will be able to avoid you know, those crazy transactions on OpenSea as many other projects usually use it. So in the future, uh, we actually plan to offer Launchpad and the main condition for using it will be the use of the native tokens, of course, and other use case. So investors will be, uh, I'd say, incentivized uh, with additional bonuses. I'd say that that all leads towards that they mean that they even, if you are not a player and do not trade gaming NFTs, if you're an investor and just want to invest in some new project uh, that has nothing to do with Citus, you can do so by literally purchasing tokens from our ecosystem. And of course, uh, we're impl implementing a buyback and burn mechanism, which is healthy practice for crypto projects. And as I previously said, whenever there is a transaction being happened on the blockchain, a small portion of tokens is always burned. And additionally, I'd say um, one of the cool features that we did previously have uh, over time started from the TG that we had from the unlock. Uh, our team has actually invested slightly over $5 million towards the token buyback and burn. And yeah, we always do post, uh, make, make those posts. And um, the last one you probably saw was, for, I'd say it was 1.1 or 1.3 million that we burned. And yeah, we did small, well, not small, but <laughs> big portions of that in order to keep the price healthy. So we do everything we could for the price, but as the game developers, you have to understand us that we are mainly focused on the game development since, you know, no one no one wants to involve just usual speculator, speculators that will just come, come around, just trade your token and just wait for it to rise and then make a massive dump, obviously. We just want yeah. the players, all those use cases being involved so the game actually gets interesting for those players. And then it is the time when we actually catch this balance uh, between the investors and the usual players when the price will be stabilized or maybe even just will increase since it's always been burnt. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's a great answer. Thank you so much for explaining that in detail. I'm sure um, Lucky Pole would be very, very happy with that. Um, <laughs> I put the chat also because we've got Twitter questions and people can raise their hand and they can drop their messages in the chat. Um, the next question I've got, this is also from Twitter, um, and it's from she Shez Sheziam. Oh, I need to get better at pronouncing some of these names. Um, yeah. They said, any events taking place that I can see closely, your metaverse and gaming graphics, what about the future events also? Well, I suggest you to jo actually join the upcoming live stream with the Serious Heroes CEO. Uh, Dan Kamenko, uh, will, which actually, well, not joined, but it already did happen in the April 20th. So you can actually watch a recording and we will actually have an AMA session coming on soon as well. So, uh, Dan has presented the first sketches of the Serious Heroes open world and actually took, uh, well, was talking about taking project, uh, migrating to the play canvas that I have, we have previously outlined and i'd say that was a great event uh there were quite a few viewers in there and a lot of positive emotions were giving off to ice so that was that was a great thing uh and obviously once we do have major updates we always have some various ama sessions that you could always join at the city heroes uh, channel we'll all, always making postings about that so yeah just stay tuned and you will not miss anything out but this one was actually really good since it actually showed you the open world how you can run around with your player around the city station and it's just it's just really interesting to watch through 
<clears throat> nice. Brilliant. So, guys, you've heard it yourself here. You can watch the replay. So, um, no events. I think, um, do you, have you guys, I don't know if you plan in the pipeline, do you ever do, plan on doing like an event in person? Like maybe like a day with an event in person or anything like that? Okay. So, you're talking about the meetups? Yeah. Like any sort of meetups or anything in the future. Okay. Yeah. So, we were, we were actually planning on, um, making some uh in dubai uh i'd say it was a few months ago however oh. we couldn't do we couldn't do so uh due to the some of the health conditions that we had on our team uh although we are planning on actually ma- making such trips uh towards the different countries and as i previously said not all of us even will need to actually go around the countries to populate the projects since we're going to have an ambassador program so people actually learn by us will be representing our project telling you more about it in different countries I'm pretty sure you'll understand the different dialects uh, as well as the different races. Uh, they will, you know, take close information from the, uh, towards the native speaker rather than a foreign speaker, since some of the thoughts might not be as clear. So that's why we actually came uh, really carefully, well, came up with it really carefully with the different uh, regional managers that we will have soon implemented, uh, as well as the ambassador program that will just pretty much cover the whole world. So it will be just nonstop developing process that will be populating the whole world. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Okay, so at least you're popularizing the whole world so everyone can get involved. So that's really, really great. Um, guys, I forgot to mention, prizes are up for grabs for questions. There's quite a lot of questions in the chat. So I don't know, um, Anthony, if you want to take questions from the chat and I can also read Twitter questions so we can mix and match them so that no one's questions really... Yeah, so um, it's another one from Twitter. Uh, what do you guys plan to do to attract investors as well as create confidence for them when the market is extremely bad recently, Bitcoin has dropped continuously. I think you touched upon that slightly before. I'd say not continuously, but dramatically for sure. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, well, Sinister's, uh, I'd say was initially declared to be a long-term project in the first place. So you don't have to expect, you know, huge raises, even though it did happen, right? (laughs) Right after the TG, you know, 100X has happened. But, but still, uh, we're not just rushing to collect money from investors and stop the project development. So the game will be um, developing gradually and constantly growing, uh, I'd say, the user community. As I previously mentioned, uh, we do have a five-year roadmap, which is just the beginning. So the more features we add into the game, the more complex and thus interesting it becomes. The platform uh, will be actually developing in cycles. In cycles sorry. Uh, so each time going higher and higher and attracting new users, obviously. So cycle by cycle. And I'd say that is basically what you need for a game. A large playing community, as I previously mentioned as well. And if you have it, you have investors' interest automatically. So you don't have to go and gain the investors' interest once your game is actually popularized between the players. And yeah, that's that's just pretty much, I'd say, it. That's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. That's brilliant. And I think you kind of touched upon the points that needed to be addressed. That's great. Um, We also have uh, quite a few questions inside the chat. So I don't know if you want to take any questions. Do you want to pick any questions from the chat? Sure. How many shall I take? take Yeah. You can take a a few Um, uh, because we've got some of the Twitter questions. So you can take maybe like, yeah, three. Okay. Okay. Uh, I do have an issue. For some reason, the chat history is not loading up for me. Uh, okay, let me, see. Uh, let me see, because would you want me to, one second, grab my phone, do you want me to pick a random question for you? Oh, here, here we go, it's loaded, no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, okay, so here's the, I, I'm just taking the random questions, right? So don't need to read through. So, okay, so, so first one is uh, Natisha. Oh, okay, I was going to say, yeah, um, please reply, um, reply to their handles so I can find them at the end. So just... Yeah, do a little reply. Okay, so I guess that's the first one. First one. Yeah, the key shot. So are you so, planning to promote your project in countries, regions where English is not good? Do you have a lo- local community for them to better understand your project? Just previously said, <laughs> we'll be having an ambassador <laughs> program as well as the regional managers covering the whole world. And absolutely, we are planning on actually localizing the project, making over 70 languages inside the game as well. So apart from just making, you know, the trips and ambassador program. So absolutely. So we are making it, uh, we are making a localization for different country and regions. And if you guys do want to become an ambassador of Citus Heroes, which I'm pretty sure, well, some of you do, I'd say just go and chat, just stay tuned, subscribe to our Citus News, and I'm pretty sure you'll not miss anything else since all the major updates are being posted in there. 
Okay, really? okay. So that was the first one. <laughs> uh, so the uh, the next one from Nicole. That's the second one. Just made a reply for that. According to According the project's to the roadmap, what are your most important next priorities? Uh, well, I'd say right now uh, we are fully focused on actually developing the modules. It's, that's one of the revolutionary gaming spheres, well, techniques that we are using. I'm pretty sure you have not seen such things in the crypto games, maybe in some of the different games you have, well, just the local usual general games, you have seen some of the uh, something looking similar stuff. However, in the crypto industry where you can actually invest your tokens, whether it's a Cirrus, Cine, or just invest materials, you will be getting the royalties from any of the operational services being actually made on any of those stations, whether it's a shipyard, whether it's a marketplace or any of the other stations that will be, you know, have. We also will have a reproductive stations where you will be able uh, to generate new heroes. Uh, and yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So the modules is our first focus at this stage. Of course, we're always ongoing, ongoingly uh, fixing some of the bugs that we have there. Since they usually do occur, I'm not the one who's be, who will be actually, uh, you know, telling you that the game will the game zero bugs. Bugs. Yeah. The ecosystem yeah. is that big that it's literally impossible to make it in one piece. And we don't have 10 years to, you know, start implementing it and only then release it. Since we want to bring the joy bring the towards the gaming community, gaming community and, and make sure, sure. to ensure, I'd say, of the wealth of people that are playing it. So, and as I previously said, uh, the modules are just being built. So if you do want to get the piece of this sweet cake, I'd suggest you to go into the Cirrus Heroes. If you don't have a Cirrus Hero yet, I'd suggest you to go to the secondary market. It's an open sea, whether you want the Academy or Genesis collection. For the cheaper, I'd suggest you going for the Academy collection. It's just, I'd say, starting from 50 to $70 at this stage since the Ethereum, uh, Ethereum just um, dropped down as well as the other crypto. And activate it inside the game and just go win some battles, gain some resources, or just simply deposit Senate or Sirius tokens, which is actually one of the options that were recently added previously. You can now deposit the um, Citus and CNA tokens into the game. And then you go into the module you'd like the most. You go and invest into that. Once it's built, you'll be literally getting uh, the the royalties till the rest of your days. <laughs> or till the project, you know. <laughs> till the rest of your days. <laughs> something, something, yeah. Some, until something happens. Well, uh, however, once we operate and once we, this project is live, the, you know, there shall be no stops for you to receive your royalties. So that was the second one. Uh, moving I'm on, moving scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay. Thank you for that, one. that was that was a great breakdown. I like how you, the person knows exactly what they need to do now to get their royalties up, and that was really really cool. Absolutely, absolutely. That's as I, as I previously said, uh, we have all of those players uh, from any market brands that are coming to us and playing Cirrus Heroes, and some of the other community is not yet. I don't even know what they are thinking of, to be honest. Uh, maybe they're not yet informed. However, we do everything to inform yeah. them of the modules that we have. However, while the other ones are being that slow, I'd suggest you to be in quick. Yeah. <laughs> be quick. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, okay, so let's talk about security. So security and anonymity are always uh, prioritized by blockchain projects in the development of project platforms and technologies. So does, uh, so do you have, sorry, I'm just <laughs> trying to, you know, reconvert the message from, from, from the, from, uh, I'd say foreign yeah. English. Uh, so do you have the, any technological solutions or plans to enhance user trust in these issues? Of course, of course we do. That's the first thing that we actually thought of. First things first, if talking about the token, we actually made an audit made by Sordic, uh, which actually passed with a really great score. On the other hand, you don't actually need to be worried about being hacked or about anything happening to your account, in-game account, right inside the Cities game. And I'll tell you why. So we are the people from the gaming industry as well as the crypto industries that are just being merged together. And we, I'd say, had over 20 years of experience and there is, <laughs> I'd say there is no new features that we are not yet aware of that could, you know, you know damage your account to just, you know, steal some, any of your assets. So that should not happen. So what prior, prior to actually launching the game, we ensured of the fullest security in the first place. And only then we have made a launch. And of course, we do the security updates daily. 
to ensure that none, none of the tokens been withdrawn or even from the game e economy system, we're actually making the countings uh, weekly as well. So, yeah, so that was the third one. Here you go. Just made a reply oh, as well. Oh, you know, well. That. oh, amazing, amazing. And security is so important. It's something that a lot of people, um, when they're in crypto, they always worry about. So that was a really good question that you addressed the whole privacy and security. Absolutely. It's, it's, Absolutely. It's really yeah. You see, the other the other interesting thing is this that um, the MetaMask wallet is not that safe to use. That's why, That's why we have actually made uh, really interesting things that during the claim you didn't actually actually need to actually claim the hero, but you could activate with a gas free right inside the game. You could activate the hero, the hero. Oh, just, yeah. just via MetaMask and saving the commission as well. So yeah, that's one of the important um, aspects of Cloud as well. Okay, okay. so. The other one is from The Clock. How did you get the community involved in developing the project and how do you build a strong community to grow globally? Okay, so similar, I'd say all, all questions are similar about growing the community. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's the first one that we have there. Okay, so uh, how did you get the community involved in developing the project? Uh, I'd say that's really simple. Uh, the only thing and idea that we had is just to create a really interesting game with the really, I'd say, uh, easy to use interface, even though it's not that easy to get you here inside the, inside the game. As for now, we're working on that. However, we did have an idea of making a great game in the first place. So we didn't think of just, you know, collecting, collecting the, any of the funds and just running away, just like any of the other projects do, or making those crazy sales of different, uh, I'd say, uh, space shuttles or any of the weapons, you know, that some of the projects actually do the pre-sales, even prior to the game launch. And that is a really, really huge mistake. Since once the other players actually get in, let's say I'm on UB, I just joined the game, and then I see a lot of those people just flying on the space shuttles, killing the monsters or aliens or whoever, with, the, with those all those great weapons with like 100 levels, and I just lose interest to the game immediately. And that's where we actually take a special, special. you know, Sorry about that. So yeah, that's where we took the special approach uh, towards the game development in the first place, which we get, uh, which how we actually got the loyalty from uh, our community, since they do understand, do understand uh, all of the aspects all that we're going from, as, as well as going to. So yeah, that's that's let's say the fourth question. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, um, that's yeah. I think you yeah. I think you make some good points. That's all. That's really important. You have to keep people engaged. You can't just think of a quick turn. You have to think of a long term. So I think that was a good point. Mm -hmm. um, I was mm -hmm. going to say, Abdul also had his hand up. I don't, I don't know if you have time for another question, but I saw Abdul had his hand up. So I don't know if you can, if he can. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks, Anthony. Okay, I'm going to allow you to speak, Abdul. Hi, Abdul. Can you hear us? Abdul? Oh, no. Sorry. Okay, like, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Um, I think um, oh, sorry. I can't hear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. I'm so sorry. He is here trying to speak. Abdul, can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Can Hello. you hear me? Oh, yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Uh, good. Can I ask me a question? Of course, of course. Okay. Uh, uh, will Cydus Heroes be having the varieties of NFT, NFTs from common to rare? And which one uh, will I request to stop my gaming? What was the last phrase? Could you repeat that? Which which one I start to uh, record to stop my gaming? Oh, to start your gaming. Okay. So at first, as for the involvement or evolve your heroes and etc we will have a reproduction center that will actually have a lot of unique features i'm not going to spoil spoil you know spoiler any of the important aspects that are not yet finalized however uh yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't even <laughs> reply to the first part of the question if you don't mind of course <laughs> but yeah uh we will have a lot of interesting things uh related to what you said uh but as for the second part which hero do you select to start gaming? Well, I cannot just advise you the, any of the rarity of the hero, whether it's Academy or whether it's just the Genesis collection. However, I'd say for you to understand the gaming experience as well as to learn 
just the basics of the game, I'd say it would be enough to just start with the Common Academy here, which, as, as I previously said, goes for 50 or 40 to $70 on, at the open sea. That will be enough for you to understand the gaming experience, to actually get involved into the game, to understand how the mechanic works, uh, how you get the resources once you won the battles, how to, what, what are the items in the air, what are the uh, battle mechanics that you could use. Maybe you'll actually play a bit with the uh, character characteristics, or whether you want to select another race. Uh, so as I previously said, there are three different races that have uh, three different special abilities. And that's where it actually comes really important for you to select a race since as for now, you're not yet able to change the race. That's why you might want to go with the first common here. And then let's say you uh, uh, you have selected a Raptorian and then you understand it doesn't have enough power since it's just been uh, nerfed uh, a, few, a few weeks ago. And then you w would want to play for another race and that's where it comes in handy. So to learn the mechanics, to start earning and to start investing into the modules if you want to do so, it's just enough to start with the usual common here and nothing else. However, if you do want some more experience being getting in battles or once the shipyard is actually released as well as the space shuttles and get more experience as well as landing time on the neutral planets since we'll be having a various uh, number of planets that you could travel to as well as explore them, then you could probably go for uh, upgrading your hero after Weiss. So. Thanks, man. What is, what is... Thanks, Abdul. Thank Thanks for having interest in our project. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for your question, Abdul. Thank you so much. Thanks for answering that for him, Anthony. Thank you so yeah, that's, much. That's, that's all good. <laughs> um, do you want to take one more question in the chat? Is that okay? Yeah, let's, was... let's, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, brilliant. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's the fifth one. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to be skipping the questions about the social media since it's all on our website. I'll just, I'll just, yeah, answer the majority of the questions. Uh, all social media is located on the website as well as the white paper, uh, yeah. in-game economy, everything, everything is in the, under the document se section at the cityseries.com. So feel free to just click in there and just browse through. And I'm pretty sure you'll find, find any information any that you need. If you didn't, for some reason, for some... feel free to uh, contact the chat uh, that we have in there, the Telegram or whether any Discord chat that we have, and just ask questions in there. We have a 24-7 support team available for you to answer any of the questions that you have in mind. Okay, so it's going towards the question. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, they're so all similar. Um, yeah, I feel, like you, I feel like you covered a lot of them anyway, to be fair. How about you select one? <laughs> okay, it's kind okay. of hard for me to do so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me select one. Let me see. Um, like how can a newbie with limited resources play Galaxy? I feel like you covered that one, so I'm not going to pick that one. Um, buh, buh, buh. I feel like you did. I feel like some of them you did cover already. Most okay. of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most of them, but not all of them. I feel like you've covered and you've spoken about them. Um, let me see if I can find one that is really, really different. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, da -da, um, da -da -da, how can I? Oh, you've really covered that, to be fair. What do you think? What a trap. I feel, I feel like you've covered it. One second. Let me. Let me okay, see. Let's go for the, let's go for the, just the simple one. I just found one. Yeah. Okay. Take, uh, yeah. So do you allow suggestions and feedback from the community? Are we allowed in decision making? Do you put community into consideration? That's our fifth question. So uh, I slightly did cover it, uh, but I'll tell you once again about the community and the way we actually listen to it. So uh, we actually have a wide team, uh, I'd say of over 10 people that are actually working with the community feedbacks, which means that whenever we get the community feedback, whether it's just in chat, whether it's an important token holder, whether it's a player, it doesn't really matter. Even for the newcomers, any critics that actually comes towards us, we actually do uh, put it in the list, which then we actually bring it to the table of our fund founders as well as the game developers. And then once we do have any of the topics that needed to be discussed, of course, we do go through those. And whenever you text us any of the message, whenever you are unhappy with any part of the project or the game gameplay or anything else, of course, every message matters, every opinion matters, and every person matters, even if you are not in our community yet. So 
absolutely. Once you did text us any of your critics, absolutely, we will go through that. We will be implementing whatever it takes for you to actually become happier. Or even if you're a newcomer, that's even more important to us since we want to populate the game. And if there is if if there is something stopping you from coming into the game, we'll be working on on it and making everything happen for it, you know, to make it easier for you. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. everyone's opinion matters. So people's feedback's always welcome, right? Absolutely. Any any of the feedbacks, even critics. Like if you, even if you're unhappy with something, and uh, we we sometimes do those users, we are happily like collecting the feedback and mm -hmm. uh, doing everything for you know for it to happen. Oh, that's for brilliant! And sometimes, sometimes critics are your become your biggest fans. So I mean, it's mm. no problem with people criticizing if they see a, if you can figure out a solution to it. So that's all good. Um, thank you so much, so much, Anthony, for answering all these questions, for giving us updates. It, this, this chat has been overdue, so it's so nice getting to talk to you now and catching up. Other than well, last thanks, week, <laughs> it, was, it was my pleasure once again. Absolutely, absolutely. There are a lot of more updates coming. Once again, uh, just a quick reminder for you, uh, get into the modules while you can. Uh, it's yeah. just a slight advice for you to you know just to start exploring them if you want to invest it's up to you absolutely so uh yeah feel free to go on test out out, out the game we have implemented the graphics as well so if you do want to select between the just the low graphics or the high graphics you can do so so everything we do is uh, for our players as well as the community and it was my pleasure being here it was anthony check with you cheers guys my pleasure uh, it's been honestly it's been such a pleasure talking to you again and our uh, people can look forward to the modules which are, they can really take advantage of the scholarship that you mentioned that is going to be coming so Definitely. stay up to date and we're going to drop all your announcements the magazine that you guys have um you've dropped the link already so people look for exclusives in the magazine it's always a pleasure having you here anthony so we look forward to all the updates you've got for Sinus coming up in the future and the roadmap and all that good stuff but yeah we'll definitely catch up again soon all right. Thanks, Kathy. And uh, have a good one, guys. And absolutely, once we do have some updates, let's catch up again. It was yeah, my definitely. Have a great day. Speak to you soon. Have a good one, guys. Cheers. Have a good Bye. One. Bye. Yes. See you later.